So you got a Weevil S, today I'm gonna to show you how to set it up and balance it. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake Sloan and I make content here on YouTube for solo creators like myself who are out creating content for YouTube or small commercial projects. So I do reviews of equipment that makes that process easier and tutorials on how to use it so that you can make better content. Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up and balance the Weeble S. This will work pretty much for any gimbal. There may be some small differences, but it pretty much all works the same. To start off with, one of the great things about the Weeble S is that it has these locking arms so you can lock it from its travel position into more of its kind of setup ready to go position. Put your camera on. One thing you want to make sure is if you're using the combination uh, Arca Manfrotto plate is that it's locked and screwed in all, all the way so that if you lower your gimbal it won't uh, fall off because I've seen that happen before. The other thing you want to do is make sure you have somewhat of a flat level surface for the gimbal to rest on while you set it up and balance it. Another thing that's pretty important is making sure you have everything on the gimbal, on your camera, your lens, everything set up the way you want it so that you can balance it for the way that you're going to use it. If you don't, no big deal. It's just I do. One thing about this is that if you're not using the wireless image transmission system, you should have had a cable that says multi USB. That's the one you want to use if you want to use your Sony camera and use charging or if you want to if you do not wish to disable um, in body image stabilization, you want to use the multi USB, not the one that says micro USB. But if you're using the wireless image transmission, you want to use the micro USB from the gimbal to the to the transmitter unit and then of course the other cables from there. I use the Zune wireless transmission system so I'm going to clip that on, plug in that HDMI cable, plug in your USB cable. If you use a focus motor or don't use the wireless image transmission or you're going to put a microphone on top of your camera, those are all fine. Just make sure you do them before you start the balancing process so that you balance it accurately for the way you're going to use the gimbal. So step one, balance the tilt axis, which is this one here. There are two ways to do that. One is move the camera front to back and then move the camera up and down. So first you wanna move the camera front to back. We accomplish this by loosening this lever here and then push the camera to where it stays level on its own. Tighten that up. Now we wanna make sure it's actually balanced um, top to bottom. And the way to do that is tip the camera up. If it falls down, that means it's too bottom heavy. If it tips upside down, that means it's too top heavy. So because ours is bottom heavy, we're gonna raise this up a little bit. And now it's too top heavy. So we gotta go back down just a hair. You should be able to put the camera pretty much in any position like that and it won't move. So now we've got the tilt axis balanced perfectly so that this is balanced exactly the way we want it on this motor here. That way this motor will have to work the least hard to do anything we're gonna do with it. We can lock this, to keep this from moving. Next is the roll, which is left and right. If it rolls to the right, then we wanna push this over a bit to the left, but essentially you wanna move this back and forth so that it doesn't tip one way or the other, but it stays pretty much dead center when you don't touch it. Put that lever there, that's nice and tight. One thing I like and don't like is these levers. It makes it easy to move things around. It also makes it easy to accidentally touch one and then have everything move around and loose. So I'm gonna let all of these go. We should be able to pretty much put the camera in any position and it'll stay. So that's really well balanced. This and this are great, well balanced. This here, if you have this where you tilt it this way, it should stay exactly where it is. If it rolls to that way, that means there's too much weight to the front. If it rolls toward the back, that means there's too much weight on the back. So that was too front heavy. That's too far back. We're gonna push it back up to where it's a little bit more in the center. Still a little front heavy, pull it back. And all these adjustments should be pretty minor, but you tip it to the side. If it doesn't move, then you know you're pretty good. So I'm still a little front heavy, pull back here. There we go. So now we know that this gimbal is really pretty well balanced. And again, it's important that you do this exactly the way you're gonna use it. Now the nice thing about the Weeble S is you can balance it like this, and even if I had a telephoto zoom lens that moved in and out quite a bit, this would still work really, really well for that because these motors are quite strong and will handle it really well. So you've got the gimbal balanced and set up. It's time to turn it on. 
let it boot up. And the next step is probably one of the most important steps you can do, and it's a great thing that Zune has done in the way they changed the firmware from the Weeble Lab to the Weeble S is auto-tune and calibrate the motors. Before you had to select three different levels, low, medium, or high. Now it will set the levels for you. And so the way to do that is when you're in your menu here, push this button, go to motor and auto and hit the over and then it's going to auto tune for us and then the back arrow and flip this back to pan follow either by hitting this twice it'll flip, flip back to pan follow so that's a really important step because that just set each of the individual motor strengths to be exactly the way that this is balanced and to operate the most efficiently and the best way possible now I've put a playlist together right here and those are videos all about how to set up, how to balance, the best settings, the best accessories for the Weeble S. And so click or tap right there and I'll see you in one of those videos. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below or reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter. Cheers.